and one Moonlight Latte. It should clear that werewolf hangover right up. Although it'll be more effective if you eat a bunch of carbs and protein. You know, you've done this before. Have a good day. See you next full moon. Welcome to Cafe Latte. What can I get for you? Ah, so you do sell Brigadieros. They're a new addition. Made by human hands, not Faye. That human wouldn't happen to go by the name JC, would he? They do. Is he working today? It's against company policy to give out scheduling information for employees or contractors. Oh, I get it, sweetheart. You gotta follow the rules. But don't worry, darling. I'm his uncle. If you need me to speak with the manager... I'm the owner. And unless that worker explicitly tells me that it's okay to give out their information to certain people, I don't say a word. Well, the thing is, I live a ways away and I'm only in town for the week. I just wanted to surprise him. It'll be fun. I sincerely doubt it'd be at all fun for Jennifer Charles. Why not? Because you've been misgendering them through this entire conversation. And don't tell me you didn't know, because while they did not give me permission to give out their scheduling information, they did give me permission to use their pronouns and name with everyone, since they have been out as non-binary to everyone for years, including their family. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm an old guy, and kids these days with these weird trends, it's hard to keep track of who's pretending to be what. I have walked your world for 1,200 years. And thanks to the discrepancy in time between Earth and Fey Realm, that means I've been popping in and out of your realm for 5,000 Earth years. And through all that time, I've seen that humans have always been non-binary, trans, genderqueer, gay, ace, and everything else. The language may be new, but the rainbow's always been there. It is not a trend. Hey, sorry I'm late. The bus has got delayed a little while there. I think there's some construction going on. Whatever. Uh, I got the Brigadiers and I've got the regular batch, and then I'm experimenting with a new batch with cinnamon. You. Nephew. Don't you fucking start. You sent me to jail. Hmm. Well, I better start my precursor stretches. I left for two minutes to take out the trash, and I feel like I missed something very important. JC's uncle came in asking for their schedule, misgendering them the whole time, called Bob's sweetheart, and apparently sent JC to jail or juvie a while ago. Oh, he's dead. Hey, 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 don't blame me for calling the cops on you, boy. You were the one doing drugs and stealing. I will admit that I made several mistakes as a teenager, the drugs being one of them. Stealing from other people so I could pawn their stuff for more drugs? Yeah, that was a dick move. Absolutely, that's on me. But a large part of why I made that decision is because my family kept shoving me in the box of manhood that might as well have been an Iron Maiden for all well of fit, denying my true gender, and even sending me to conversion camp at your suggestion. <sighs> well, it obviously didn't work. Those camps only work because it makes the kids so terrified of being sent back that they fake it. I faked it for years, and I was miserable. And when my parents found out I was doing drugs, instead of sending me to rehab like they wanted, you decided to call the cops and sent me to jail. Which did not help! In fact, it made me relapse, and made it impossible to graduate high school on time, and impossible to stay in college for more than a year because no scholarship would help an ex-criminal and I couldn't afford the loans. All of which you knew. Your actions have consequences. You want to break the law? You face the consequences. You want to pretend to be girly or gay? You face the consequences. I am trying to help you so you don't become a fa- Don't you fucking say it. You and half of the family made my life so miserable. And you convinced the other half, including my parents, to also make my life miserable. It is a miracle that they finally rejected that bullshit rhetoric and scrapped together the money to get me through rehab before I blew my goddamn brains out. Not that you would have shed any tears, of course. What was it you said? Better a dead son than a gay one? Your lifestyle caused nothing but misery and heartache for the family, for your parents. At least if you had taken the coward's way out, it would have put them out of their misery, too. Does Bob have enough magical energy to give him the curse that he deserves? I don't think she's even going to bother. She might just go straight for her sword. She has a sword? 
Yeah, at least three. See, and that is why you were banned from family gatherings, excluded on social media, and why we tried to get a restraining order against you. Tell me, what exactly did you hope to accomplish by coming here and bothering me? Well, you just answered your own question, son. You've gotten the whole family to hate me just because I know that gender is what's in your pants, not a feeling, and I'm brave enough to say it. Oh, so I guess that my gender is my phone, a pen, and some lint. Real mature. I agree. I haven't given you the beatdown you deserve, but that's mostly because I don't want poor Bob and Cyrus here to have to clean up the mess. But if you keep harassing me like this, I will personally show you all the things I learned in juvie. You call this little lady Bob? The hell is wrong with you? Names are precious to fairies. JC bestowed the humorous nickname of Bob to me to allow me to protect my real name. Same with Cyrus. And we cherish those gifts. On a similar note, Bob here is a ridiculously powerful fairy sorceress. And if you keep doing this in what she considers her realm, you're going to wind up cursed with either silence, bad luck, bad health, poverty, or any number of unpleasant goodies for up to seven years. If you're going to lie about curses, at least make it plausible. Like that guy. I wish. I'm only 300 years old. That's not nearly long enough to master the craft. You'll get there. Magic isn't real. Everyone knows that. Yeah? What's my dead name? Your what? My dead name. The name I was born with. The name you spitefully continued to call me for all 25 years of my life, even after everyone repeatedly told you to call me Jennifer Charles. Oh, that's easy. That... That is... Your real name is... Fuck, what was it? Erased from existence. Thanks to her. That seven-year limit is only if I don't know your name. I'm sure I can make you suffer a wide variety of ill luck and ill health for the rest of eternity. As soon as JC gives the word. Oh, so... <clears throat> So you're going to hide behind a woman now. You won't face me like a man. You're the injured party, so you decide the length and terms of the curse. No curse. I actually agree with him on this. Not the underlying sexism part of that statement, but I am a firm believer in fighting my own battles. Having fought in several battles, I can assure you that they are rarely fought alone. If I ever need backup, I will ask. And if he comes back into your domain, you do whatever you want. I'm not stopping you. But you, uncle, you come anywhere near me or make any attempt to contact me with anything less than a sincere, groveling apology. Or if you approach the supportive members of my family or my friends, then I will take your advice and handle it like a man. I've already been to jail. I know I can survive it. Do you think you could survive me? You'll always be a disgrace, boy. <laughs> you say that like I care. You went paler than milk as soon as your uncle left. Are you okay? Yeah, it's fine. I'm fine. That's just a... <clears throat> you know, I forgot how much I was actually afraid of him during that little encounter. And now my brain and my body are just doing a fantastic job of reminding me. It's like, um, it's like, you know, when you, uh, you're walking in the woods and you meet a bear and you're not really scared in that moment you're just focused on getting away but then when you're out you suddenly realize holy shit i almost got eaten by a bear replace bear with dragon and yes yes i have four times uh sit down there you go okay deep breaths you did so well yeah kid you were fucking amazing you're allowed to freak out language This is an emotional problem, and I'm bad at those. Did you want us to leave you alone? Did you want us to stick around to hear you out? And or did you want something to do with your hands? Hands, please. 
Normally, I would stress bake, but unlike every other cafe, you guys don't have a goddamn kitchen. I am sorry. I'm going to be very unpleasant for a little while. The lack of kitchen is an absolute tragedy. I am right there with you. Only because you want more snacks. Here, count the beads. What the? Is this a rosary? No, I'm a Buddhist. They are prayer beads, though. I'm an atheist. I'm not telling you to pray. I'm telling you to count. Now count. One, two, three, four. So, um, we didn't get that asshole's name or credit card or... No. And even if we did, JC did politely ask us not to interfere, so I will not interfere. Unless their uncle is stupid enough to return. And I pray that he returns. Yeah. So where exactly are your swords lying around here? We can't murder in human lands. I wasn't gonna murder him. I just wanna poke him a little. Don't touch my swords. <sighs> Boo. Feeling better? 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. <clears throat> yeah, better. Sorry. Don't apologize for emotions. No, not, um... Not that. I mean, I'm sorry you all had to <clears throat> see that and deal with it. I was really hoping to dodge that. People always look at me weird when they know everything. I've been told I always look at people weird. Is that okay? You don't look weird. You look cute. <clears throat> I mean, um, they look at me with either pity, which I hate, or like they're scared of me. But you're a good person, and clearly stronger than most, considering all the obstacles you've beaten. Why should I pity or fear you? <laughs> yeah, I hate to eavesdrop, guys, but you don't scare us. Careful, they control your snacks. You scare me a little. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't pity or fear you either. To be perfectly honest, I envy you. I have lived for centuries, over a thousand years by fay count, and for about half that time, I was not a good person. And yes, similar to you, much of the blame lies in my community, family, and the way I was raised. Fay culture does not inspire altruism, empathy, or compassion. And yet you managed to claw your way out of such a life and become a much better person in a fraction of the time and with a fraction of the resources that I had at my disposal. That speaks to a strength of character that I can only hope to develop. Don't sell yourself so short. I thought something very similar about you when we first met. Would it be wrong if I asked to see you home, in case your uncle lingers? Sure, but I don't have a car. I took the bus. I drive. Come on. Drive safe! So did you also hear that cute comment? Yes, yes I did. <laughs>